Welcome to Talmudic Treasures. Today we're learning Gittin, page 12, which discusses the situation where a person has a slave or a person is married and he has an interest at this very moment to divorce his wife or to free his slave and he doesn't give them a document directly. Instead, he gives it to an agent to give it to them. And on this, there's a discussion. If let's say once he's given it over to the agent before the agent has handed it over to those people, can he retract? Can he change his mind and basically say, you know what? Oops, I didn't want to do that. I want to remain married to my wife. Let's not allow this divorce to take place. I want to keep my slave. So everyone holds that even though it's true, he no longer has this document in his hands. It's in the hands of this agent who's en route going to this person, these people. So certainly he's allowed to retract when it comes to his wife. Because there's a general principle that you would want someone to do something which is in your benefit, even if you don't even know about it. So if, let's say, someone, you could inherit a million dollars... I don't need someone to tell me, oh, collect a million dollars for me if I didn't know about it. <laughs> Let him collect it for me and then I'll, he'll give me the million dollars. And as soon as he, gives, he gets it, it's mine because it's good for me. But if it's something which is detrimental, something which I don't want to happen to me, so an agent can't just accept it on my behalf without my knowledge. And when it comes to divorce, this, a woman is not going to want to get divorced. And that's the assumption we're talking about here. And therefore, because of that, is even though it's true, the agent has this document, he's allowed to retract the husband, and he can say, no, 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 it doesn't work. And that would work. However, there's a question when it comes to a slave, which is kind of hard to imagine. There's actually a dispute whether or not a slave wants to become free or would actually rather remain as a slave. And again, the difference would be if this agent has this document of his freedom papers and the master changes his mind before the actual servant gets it. Once it's in the servant's hands, that's it. He's free. But before that happens, is he allowed to retract? So it depends. If you hold that this is a good thing to go free, so then as soon as the agent has it, he's also going to be the servant's agent. And then he goes free automatically. He can't change his mind. The master's no longer the master. But if it's detrimental because the slave actually wants to remain a slave, so then he could retract and remains a slave. So the question is, why would anyone want to remain a slave? We study the story of Egypt, that we were enslaved for, you know, 400 years. No one wants to be a slave. The greatest thing a person can have is their freedom. Why would someone want to be a slave? So the Talmud over here gives a couple of explanations, some of them very practical. One has to do with the fact that you have all of your basic needs taken care of. <clears throat> because you're a slave, even though it doesn't sound so great, <clears throat> it is necessary that you have to be well taken care of. In other words, you have to make sure that you're given food, even though that's something which is up for discussion here as well. But in this situation, the slave knows that he's going to get fed, he's going to work a little bit, but he's, all of his basic necessities will be taken care of. And therefore, he'd rather remain a slave and, and everything's taken care of and that would be and that would be something he'd prefer. Also, interestingly enough, this Eved is allowed to be together with a Canaanite servant. And there's an element that as soon as he gets free, he's no longer allowed to be with such Canaanite woman. And therefore, there's a concept called Hefker Nichle. This guy actually would may prefer to be able to have this intimate connection with these women. And once he's free, he can't do that. So therefore, he would actually prefer on some level to remain as a slave, which, again, is hard to imagine. But sometimes in our lives, we may wish to be like slaves. Instead of us being able to remove ourselves from the things that hold us back, we remain comfortable in our lives, and we do things just because we know that everything will be taken care of. But the truth is we often know that it's much better to take chances and take risks and to become that free person. But sometimes instead we'd rather be a slave.